Hi guys, hi Sagittarius Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. This is your yearly tower reading forecast for the year of 2020. So this will give you guys a general overview on what you can expect, anticipate and prepare for for the upcoming year. And how this goes is basically we pick one card per month to give us like a, a vibration of energy that is going to be transpiring for you for that month. Now, please do know that this is just still a general reading. So it may occur for you or it may not. It really depends on a person's um, if I'm connecting with you or not. So please don't take this very literally. Again, this is just a general overview and a general reading overall. And the only way I can really take a look into your own situation is a more personal and private reading, which you can go to my website for it. So um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get on with the reading. And we are starting off for January. And... For January, Sagittarius people will have the Nine of Wands. So this could be a point of waiting, getting tired of something in your life. You might be um, a situation wherein you're waiting for something, guarding yourself into something, and maybe you are about to embark on something in your life. I kind of feel that this is a point wherein you are getting fed up with the mundane things in your life and you want to change that. And that is probably why we have the Ace of Wands over here on February because there is going to be some form of realization, I feel, for the month of January 2020. Something could be happening for you that can really um, shake everything up in your life and can really wake you up from slumber, wake you up and force you into seeing the bigger picture of life. Maybe you have been too optimistic with things and this could be the month wherein you are going to see things in a more real kind of way. There's going to be some form of reality checks and seriousness, you know. There, there's a need for you to get serious in things. Be more mature. That kind of energy is coming into place here. Remember that nines is a, a form of higher learning to things. This is not about um, mind games and all of that. This is a point wherein you need to get serious with your own decisions and what you really want and what you want to achieve. And this is basically a message wherein it's telling you that, you know, there's really nothing going to happen if you just keep waiting around and, you know, being passive passive in all of that nothing's gonna occur you need to take action you need to um have a form of energy to move things forward in your life as we go to february like i said earlier there's going to be a brand new beginning for you this could be a new energy of some kind this could be also a sudden idea that comes up in your mind that you want to do you wanted to pursue you wanted to um to expand and grow with maybe you wanted to study something or you wanted to initiate some form of business you wanted to you know whatever that comes up in your mind and the creative flow in your mind you are going to take action to pursue that um, scenario this could also be you know a message of some kind that can come into your life or, or an offer that comes to you that can really give a form of optimism in your own energy. As you go over to March, we do have the Hermit card, which can be an energy of isolation or an energy of higher learning. You are finding out things and maybe you will be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, that kind of energy, you know. The Hermit card has an icy feeling into things. So I don't think this is going to be an emotional time. In fact, there is a possibility that you might be looking over to the past and maybe you are 
you know, becoming pessimistic. Uh, there is that kind of energy you're looking through your past mistakes or things that are not working in your life. Or maybe you're questioning why you are not receiving things that easily. Do you know that for the year of 2020, and this goes to every sign, that hard work is going to play an important role because we do have Jupiter in the sign of Capricorn and that's really going to speak volumes, you know, um, throughout the year. And you are no exception to this, especially Sagittarius people. So, um, yeah, the Hermit card is a card wherein you are going to have to mature on things. You need to wake up. That is really what's what this message is telling you as we go over to april we do have this four of pentacles and maybe you are holding on to things it could be some form of belief it could be something that you are holding on to i mean i want to ask what are you holding on to is it a person is it a relationship is it a situation it could be money as in a literal sense it could be some form of possession or maybe you just have a habit of not letting go on things even though they could be not healthy for you anymore. That kind of situation could be prominent at this time. This can also be a point wherein there is a drive for you to earn money, to create stability for yourself. Be more financially stable could be in the picture. So um, you might be having a lot of ideas or thinking about things that can give you um, some form of passive income or earning money, that kind of thing. So for me, we do have the Emperor card and this is a card of hesitation and a card of planning and initiation as well. So this is a point we're in you are not exactly taking action yet, but you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it, but you haven't really taken any action. There's a lot of passion in you. There's a lot of things that you wanted to accomplish that you wanted to do. This can also manifest where in someone enters your life that can be um, someone um, who can teach you. It could be someone that really cares for you though. It could be a father figure or someone that has power over you could be coming into the picture of things. I always see this card as a card of help. So there could be someone that is going to help you in your endeavor, especially if you are already lost at this time. So that is always a good thing. For June though, we do have the Three of Swords. Now this is a situation of heartache. And disappointments but it can also be a card of healing wherein you are going to be healing from from some form of broken-hearted situation it could be a situation wherein there is going to be some form of closure and clarity in the matters of the heart um, instead of the focusing of the heart I was really focused too much on the sword so it could be you who is going to break up with someone or you are the one who has control over things um, in relation to how you are going to deal with this card it's, it feels as if the cards this the swords rather that are in this card is within your reach you know you are the one who is going to put someone in their place just be careful of not hurting someone too much just be careful because you know sometimes that can really backfire on you as well so uh, i would say to be mindful of other people's feelings as well so for July, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be an offer of some kind, some form of peace, some form of happiness coming into your life, maybe some form of relief as well, and a lot of positive vibes. And it could be earning some form of money or earning something that can give you some form of life contentment in your life situation. For August, we do have this 
Nine of Wands. So there could be impulsiveness in the air. This could be you though. Wanting to take adventure and things. Wanting to do things in the blink of an eye. Like I said, this is a time of that we need to be more cautious. We need to be more mature of things. Because I kind of feel that for 2020, a lot of Sagittarius people are doing things, you know, like the usual. They do things without much thought. And even though they do think about it, they don't really, um, they don't really, there's really no puzzle work with their thoughts. Like, okay, I wanted to do a business. Okay, I'm going to make um, something related to, to an application on mobile. Maybe a game. And then how do we do this? Sagittarius people might not really give the specific details on how they are going to make things happen. They just know the idea. Maybe they have a vague idea on how to do it, but they don't really know the tiny details and how to make it all happen, you know? It's like everything is becoming so general to them. And with this card, they kind of feel that, you know, you might be doing things out of the blue because it interests you, because you wanted some form of fun, you wanted some form of excitement in the air. If that is all good, nothing is bad on that end. I just kind of feel that, you know, this energy might not be so productive for you. Like, people in your life might be very stressed about it and maybe they might confront you about that attitude of yours. And at the same way, because Sagittarius people don't like drama, you might encounter some form of drama as a result. So yeah, you need to be more aware of your actions right now because you're up for fun, but maybe the people around you are not. So yeah, I mean, I'll leave that information up to you guys on how you should navigate in that. But yeah, I would say that this is kind of just a warning just to let you guys know that the people around you may not be so ready uh, like you do when it comes to adventures, fun, being carefree, and excitement as a whole. So as we go over to September, we do have this Four of Cups. So maybe a form of uncertainty. It could be a form of being not satisfied. Um, I kind of feel that for a lot of you guys, it's all about being very passionate on things. But for the purpose of being really happy, being really content, feeling satisfied as a whole, that is really something that maybe you won't be experiencing. Like I said, it feels like, you know, the things that you want, you are going to do it. But because the people around you may not be enjoying that, may not be engaging with it, it can leave you some form of stress. Um, it, makes you, it can make you feel like everything is a drag. You know, people are so dramatic. You might even tell people that. Or this can be a form of boredom as well. So um, yeah, like, you know, people are not playing with you. And you might be bored about that. So you might find your own venture on how to play games or how to excite yourself. Those kinds of things. So, and if you guys see the layout of the cards, there's really not much excitement we're in. I kind of feel that, you know, you yourself is ready to up and go do something fun do something crazy but it feels like you're always alone like you know there's a lot of being left out card being alone card and i'm not saying this to be negative i'm just saying what i see basically so for this i kind of feel that you know if you want to be having fun with someone you need to communicate effectively i feel 
And you really need to be more sensitive with other people because they might be undergoing things that um, may not be so easy and may not be so fun. And maybe they want your support as well. And yeah. And I hope that you will be there for them because maybe they need you. For October, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be someone in your life. It could also be you. This is a person who is very patient, very kind, the perfect wife, the perfect girlfriend who is going to be there for you. And if this is someone in particular, I hope that you are not going to take them for granted because they can be there for the long haul and you might be playing games. I hope not. This can also be a situation where in there could be a mother figure that comes into your life and offer you some form of support through whatever situation you are going through. So yeah, this is a very supportive element for um, the month of October. As we go to November, this could be in quite of a negative situation. And I know I think I've been becoming negative in this reading. But um, yeah... Let us just say that 2020 is not the most thrilling year for you. Um, but it does have its own lesson. Okay. So with the Nine of Swords, this is a situation we're in. You might be worried about something. There is something that is causing you misery. Causing you some form of negative thoughts. Or maybe you are just getting getting crazy mad with the people around you i just cannot help but tell you that this is not you who is the problem it's the people that are around you that it that might be causing drama and you're just not used to that also we do have a lot of nine here we do have the nine of swords the hermit is the number nine and we also have the nine of wands so nine is can be very spiritual but you know in the material world it can be quite testing so it could be a year of tests for you maybe a test of your patience and a test of relationships that you have with people around you whether they are your family acquaintances or relationships overall now as we go over to december we have the judgment card so this can uh, be a situation we're in it's literally a judgment. You might be um, having to evaluate the people around you, having to evaluate what are the right relationships for you and what do you really want in your life, what do you want and what do you don't want, those kinds of things. This could be a situation wherein you can speak out on what you think about other people and they might tell you what their own thoughts as well it could be a time of decision making and conclusions when it comes to relationships and in the matters of the heart all at the same time so um yeah this is my uh, yeah before i forget we do have the advice card of the page of wands and this is like the friend card the messenger card so this could be a year of friendship for you so there could be a lot of experiences that you are going to have to face and deal with, which a friendship can really grow, you know. This can also be a very fun and lighthearted connection. And it could be a, a time wherein you might be really wanting to have fun, really wanting to enjoy life, those kinds of things. But this is really a card of invitations as well so you might be inviting a lot of people um into social um i would say social agreements social gathering or something like that but with the page of one as an advice card this is telling us that you need to be more perceptive sensitive to the people around you especially in how you are communicating with people because the page of wands is a very communicate communicative card wherein is this a messenger 
And it's also a card wherein it takes into consideration of the atmosphere of the people that is around that, around him or her. That's those kind of thing. So how you handle your friendship and relationship is going to be really big and important for you for the entire year of 2020. Again, it may not be the most happiest thing in the world. It's not the most exciting thing. In fact, it is a lot serious, but it is what's going to make you grow as a person and will help you mature in life and be able to help you realize what you really want in relationships and what you really want with your friends and acquaintances. You know, there is going to be some form of growth structure in the air for you. And there is a possibility that you will you are being forced to learn and to grow up in life all at the same time. So um yeah, thank you Aquarius. Uh, sorry, thank you Sagittarius for listening and watching with me in this video. And I do hope that it has given you insights and clarity into your situation. Um, I would advise you to watch this video maybe during 2020. That is the only time that you will be able to resonate and really see if the reading is happening for you and i would advise you to just go back with it because right now it might be too negative and i'm pretty sure that a lot of people are not gonna even like this um reading at all so i'm not gonna be surprised if that is the case so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and if you'd like a more personal reading i'm open for that just go to my website in the stars by chrissy.com or just click the services tab on my navigation area on my website and you'll be able to see different kinds of services that I offer for you guys. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and I'll see you guys next time.